welcome to another TPO Fly of the Month. Uh, this month we're going to tie a high vis clean camera. This is the fly that I use in Dry Dropper. It's been an American Angler. Um, the first material, we're going to take high vis poly yarn, fluorescent chartreuse, well, and fluorescent orange. Right? We're going to tie it in on the top of the hook, like that, just to get it attached to the hook. And then we're going to wrap around the base of the material so we can start making our post. This is the most labor intensive part of the fly. To get that post started properly, it's not the easiest thing. So if you look, we're starting to come up on the post, we're starting to make the post. And that's what we're going to wrap the hackle around. And for this one, we're going to use CDC hackle instead of traditional grizzly hackle. All right, so there we made the post. Now, just to secure the post in place, just take a touch of super glue right onto the post and there now it's not going to move it's going to stay in position let's trim this a little bit just to make tying the rest of the fly a lot easier that's not the length we're going to leave it but that makes it easier for me to get the materials around the hook so my next move is to come down the hook almost to where it enters into the vise right here on the hook bend. All right, now I'm going to take this. I'm going to take brown super fine dubbing. Just going to dub it very lightly onto the thread. Now I'm going to advance my thread up a little bit and I'm going to come back pretty close to the post. Make sure no material gets wrapped up in there. Okay. Pretty slim body as you can see. The next material I'm going to use is the peacock bronze you can either get it from Jan Simon or you can get it from fly tying specialties gonna dub the thread with that okay one more wrap around three more wraps around I lied all right now for the hackle I have it prepared I'm using the mark Pettijon tool I'm gonna make a CDC hackle with this one so I have to take the thread and I'm gonna split the thread and with this UTC 70 it's not the easiest thing to do I'm gonna use a hook Okay, so I have the thread opened up. You can see that. Now I'm going to take the clip inside the thread, fold this down on it, pull down on the thread, let go. The next step is to spin the bobbin. So it traps the CDC fibers in there. 
I'm going to come up to the parachute and I'm going to wrap the hackle around. Now the advantage with the CDC is that it traps the air and has that buoyancy because of the oils in the feathers. So here I have too much so I'm going to take it I'm going to pick some out. I'm going to come around one more time. Okay. Now, if you look at the eye of the hook here, it's the last part. So if you look, you can tell that that's going to trap a lot of air underneath it because the fibers are so close together and due to the fact that it has the natural oils from the duck's butt, for lack of a better word, that's even going to help to float it up even more. So this is what I use when I dry dropper fish. This has been the best ever since I started playing around with the magic tool. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to whip finish the fly. Two, four, pull it tight, get a cut. Now if you look, look at the underbody of that. All right. You have so much CDC hackle in there that it's going to be difficult at best for your nymphs to sink that. And with this fly, I fished with two size 16s, which have 2.4 millimeter tungsten beads on them, and they don't sink the fly. So there it is. I have the bright post, which really doesn't help float the fly. All the stuff that floats the fly is right here. It's the CDC hackle. And if you look, tying a parachute with the CDC was much easier than tying with the traditional hackle. So there it is. That's the super magic dry dropper fly. And uh, bring this one over to any spring creek where you need a fly to land softly on the surface of the water. And this is the one you want to use. So have at it. And uh, I hope the CDC hackle gave you a little bit of an insight on to how to make better, more buoyant parachute style flies to hold up your nymphs.